All right, let's go to our caller from the 915 area code. Who's calling today from 915? Hey, David, it's Justin. Hey, calling Justin. from Monroe, Washington. How you doing today? Uh, oh, not too bad. I was uh, wondering, putting aside all value judgments and stuff like that, the yeah. Republicans' take on the shootings, the recent shootings, has been to, of course, blame video games. And their younger voter bloc, especially those that populate like the Donald subreddit and 4chan and stuff. Sure. Uh, there's one thing they love more than Donald Trump, it's video games. And I'm wondering how that plays from like a political move to try to alienate those people. I, I'm not sure I understand. So, okay, let me see if I understand your question. I want to make sure I answer it uh, correctly. You're saying that the same people that love Trump and are in these online alt-right enclaves also love video games. Is that right? That's what you're asserting. Yes, a lot of them really do. OK, and then you're saying that they are being alienated by the discussions of what of video games being to blame for the shootings. Yes. Oh, uh, listen, I don't know that all online alt writers love video games. I just don't know if that's the case. Uh, I, I'd have to you know, maybe that's true. I'm not sure. Uh, I think that it's wrong to blame video games for the violence. So I think that that is also a problem. But I don't know that I am sort of like lined up with the way you're framing the question such that I can really answer it. Oh, well, they uh, a lot of uh, white nationalist ra uh, radicalization comes from the uh, idea that young white men don't have any sort of uh, of banner to rally around like, okay. you know, women do or other minorities. And a lot of them took up the game of or the tag of gamer mm -hmm. as their, you know, oppressed quote unquote, uh, group. I mean, oh, that's I what see. caused the gamer gate thing and all of that. I see. So, so a lot in other of words, all writers you're, you're sort of are suggesting video that game players, this group under gamer gate, which if you don't know about gamer gate, I wish I was like you, I, I wish I didn't know about it either. But years ago, there was this thing called Me gamer too, gate. Man. And so you're saying that Gamergate became a rallying cry for a group whose identity would not normally see them as the victims of anything in society. They were able to say, we are now the victims. We are the oppressed. We are being targeted. And that gave an identity of a sort, which was then radicalized into the alt right. Am I sort of understanding? Yes, sir. And that's a lot of the people that populate these Internet forums that are, you know, mostly young white men. Interesting. Well, listen. This isn't the first I've heard of it, but you're presenting it in a very kind of like cut and dry causal way. I, I don't know for sure how much there is to that. I'm not discounting it, but it's certainly something I want to look into more. All right. OK, very good. Justin, well, thanks for the call. Great to hear from call. you. Yes, of course. My pleasure. Great. Uh, great to hear from you.